Okay, clouds came out. It's a little cooler. I am going to actually put these cattle panels up um, in the spot where I want them eventually, even if the other beds aren't in yet. Um, I still want the panels up because at least I can travel with some more than none this year. Uh, we don't have a T-post. Um, well, don't have a T-post digger. Uh, hammer thing. I don't know what it's called. There's a name for it, I'm sure. And, but we have a splitting mall. So I'm going to see if this works. Uh, come along with me. Good luck. So I hope you can hear me. Um, I'm going to bring up the stuff. I don't know what I was going to say. see me from back there I haven't gotten the hang of this and I'm just doing it with my phone so I was gonna do it over the top of me like this um, but then realized once the plants grew it would shade out this bed as you can see now the Sun coming out is coming straight from um, the West so I only got six because I was gonna do one and then two for the both the middle so both panels would be on one and then three so I only got six T posts and now with my new configuration, I need eight. Um, so we're gonna do one. We're gonna see how it goes. We'll revisit tomorrow. I'll go get more T-posts. And then I'll make it all part of the same thing. Uh, and you can see me do, oh, oh, it was a blizzard. Okay. These are not light and pinchy, very pinchy. little crooked. I'm gonna get a tripod. It'll make it better. Alright, so do I want this this way? This way. This way. I think. Because this is the side the thing's gonna go on. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You, we're gonna figure it out together. I'm gonna do it this way. If you think I should have done it the other way, let me know. How wide are these? Probably should measure or do something like that. So you saw the struggle, the cattle panels, oh, this is not stable enough to sit on. Okay. The cattle panels that I bought are way too small uh, and they won't go to waste. I do have raspberries that I'll be planting and I do want to trellis them up. So I'll just stick them upright and do them like that. Um, not what I planned. When does it ever go like I planned? So I just need longer ones, like twice as long. <laughs> so I don't know, these ones are like eight or 10 feet and I need double that. I don't know how I'm gonna put them in my truck though. <sighs> we'll see. I'm sitting on our deck. Okay, so that didn't go quite as I planned. A um, Couple of mistakes. Um, didn't plan quite right from the beginning. Because it wasn't a plan, I went in and I was like, ooh, I should do this because it would be really helpful without like measuring anything or thinking it all the way through until I left. So, I need more cattle, pa cattle panels, just two of them, longer ones. And I need like, now if I use those other ones to trellis some other things like strawberries and some, not strawberries, raspberries and some other things, um, I need more T-posts too. So, cattle panels, T-posts. 
it would be really a lot easier to set up all the trellising before we put the fence in, but that might not happen. So, um, fence has to go up either way tomorrow because I gotta get plants in the ground. They're growing, but it'll take them a while before they need to be trellised. Um, so we have a little bit of time, at least another week. Um, we both work full time, so it's nights and weekends. Uh, the five to nine after the nine to five, or I do tens. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for the less frustrated version of tomorrow when we do the fence and Griff will be here to help tomorrow. So we'll be doing the fence and you'll see how that goes. I might make that a whole nother video. I will. I want to make that a completely different video because it's, um, special fencing by critter fences and i know um that they like input on their fencing and any videos of it so might end up sending that to them but see you next week or tomorrow we'll see so it's sunday and we were having some issues with <laughs> the cattle panels that i got being too short and so they won't loop from the ground over to the ground because they're like <laughs> really short for like a little hobbit to walk through so at first I was like, scratch this idea. We're gonna need to buy new panels. Um, but Griff came home yesterday and we were talking about it. And I think we're gonna MacGyver this and attach the cattle panels as a hoop to the top of the T-post. And then we have a ton of chicken wire that we're gonna use as the, as the bottom of the, um, Sorry, I thought I heard a deer. Um, as the bottom part of the trellis underneath. So we're gonna hammer in those other two posts, see if we can get the um, cattle panel to do the hoop, and then we'll go from there. Ooh boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. <laughs> Sleeping on the road. this chicken wire just to know as you can see we attach these the cattle panel with the seam zip ties um it should hold just fine uh, i don't think we'll need any more and then i'll just attach this to the ground and then i'll put some more on the other side into the garden for when the plants are small so they can string up or i can just use some twine and some So not quite what we planned, but it'll work. So now I'm going to do the other side. Okay, so I just finished the Makeshift trellis. Um, Ta-da! 
There it is. Uh, I'm looking pretty good. I'll show you. Okay. Um, and then, as you can see, right behind me, we have um, prepped the next two posts, but I still need two more posts. So we'll have to get those and then we can set up the rest of the trellis. And now it's time to do the fence, which I'll put in another video.